What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today was Geeked Out here in Ottawa, which is an awesome convention with everything from retro toys, Funkles, video games, anything that you can imagine that is possible to collect that is geek related was there and it's a lot of fun. This is the second time that we went to this convention and we always end up spending a lot of money. So today we're going to be going over everything we got. So everything that we got from Geeked Out today, our haul, there is always a two-day event. We usually go the first day because that's when you get the best stuff. This year, Ashley did have to work on day one of the convention, so we decided to go on day two, and I'm glad we did because we got a lot of great deals because people wanted to move the stuff rather than cart it all home, so we did get some great deals as well. But as you guys can see behind me here, we collect a little bit of everything from... Disney, The Office, Friends, Ghostbusters, Scooby-Doo, Nintendo, Marvel, and a whole bunch of stuff. And this convention is definitely worth going. It's semi-annual. There's always one in the spring and always one in the fall as well. So I love going to these. So let's see what we got. And also they did announce two more conventions later this year. They do have the fall edition of Geeked Out, which is going to be September 30th and October 1st. So day one is September 30th. Day two is going to be October 1st, and they have a new update, which is GamerCon is back, and that's going to be December 2nd this year. I'm really excited for that. I've never been to GamerCon, so I might have to go and check that out, but the next Geeked Out, we're definitely going to be going, hopefully spending a lot less than we did this time, because as you guys remember, the first time we went to Geeked Out, we spent $400. This time, we spent a total of $380. Now let's see what we got. And here we go, here is our haul from today which is a whole bunch of really great stuff. Let's start off with the comics here. Last year I spent $100 on comics alone. This year I only picked up three that I needed. So we have Venom, The Madness Part 2, this was $6. So right now I'm only missing Part 3, so hopefully I'll find that soon, but at least they had this one. We have What If, this is issue 17. What if uh, Ghost Rider, Spider-Woman, and Captain Marvel were villains? So I do want to complete my What If collection. He did have a lot there, but most of the ones were ones that I had. And this one was only $12, so I decided to pick that one up. And then another What If here, which, looking at the cover, I don't remember having it. it on my list, it was already crossed off, which is issue number 9. But it was only $2, so I decided to pick that one up too. Next are ones that my girlfriend picked out. So the first one here is the exclusive Annoyed Stitch. This one here is only $20. She loves collecting anything Stitch related, so she does want to get more Stitch Funkos and Stitch collectibles. So this is a great one, and for only $20, it's is really good. Now this one here was a exclusive one as well. This is the Hot Topic exclusive. It's scented, apparently, and it was $40. That's him licking the ice cream cone with the glasses on. Really cool. And this one actually has a lot more weight to it. So those ones there, we did pay 20, we did pay the 40. Up here, this is actually at the back. My girlfriend was looking at the Stitch Funkos. I just happened to see this one. I thought it said 55, so obviously I was gonna leave it, but for $15, Colossus, I definitely am a huge fan of. I am looking for some of the comics as well. So this is a great one. They did have some of the other ones that are on the back here, but they were, again, charging $55 each. This one here for $15 was definitely a great find for me to add to my collection. Next up here, um, I did spot these. So this is the complete set of the Ninja Turtles. So you have Raphael, Donatello, and then Leonardo and Michelangelo. So these ones here... I was trying to find if I wanted to get them because I did just recently pick up the uh, shiny version, so the special edition of Super Shredder. So I did want to find these. Somebody had all four in this protective case. I asked them how much and they said $50. That to me is a great price for these because these are anywhere from $15 to $20 each. So that is a perfect price for that. And then I did spot this one there at what as well. So I asked him how much and he said $10 and this Thanos I do not have and it's one that I wanted. So for $10 was a great one to pick up. So these ones here, I don't think I'm going to be leaving them in the protective case like this. But I think these ones are going to stay in the box and I'm going to put them up on the shelf eventually. Next right here, I happened to find Galactus. 
such a huge fan and this one was hard for me to find. So paying only $15 for it, everywhere else was charging a lot more. So that to me was a great find for that. I did finally pick up Dr. Doom, just the original one. This one was $15 as well. One of the vendors there was trying to tell me that uh, they do have this one at, ho at home. And it's about $100 to $150, which I didn't believe at all. And I did find somebody else had it for $15, which is around what it's worth. It's about $15 to $20. Next over here is wherever we got the most deals from. So this right here is for my girlfriend Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robbins in this big, I think it's Hot Topic, I'm not sure yet, Hot Topic exclusive. This one here you can see it's priced at $50. Then we have the Banquet Room Ghostbusters one. Again, it's priced at $50, you can see in the corner there. So this one caught my eye. And this Slimer here, priced at $25. So. I did pick up last time we went to Geeked Out, it was the Slimer with the hot dogs in his mouth. I love Slimer, so I've seen this one, I've seen this here as well. So we decided to ask them if they'll negotiate the prices. He said yes, so first he's seen this one, that I had this one in my hands. He's like, I would do 40 for it, so that's a great price for one of the big ones. Because it has three figures in this one. So $40, you get three figures, to me is a great price. This one right here, he had it priced at 50. He also gave that one to us for $40 as well. And then this one here, because we did buy the rest, he gave it to me for $20. So that was a great addition to the collection. And the last thing that we did pick up was this Linkin Park uh, album Funko, which this one here has been extremely hard to find. This is the only one that was at the whole convention. Amazon selling it for ridiculous prices. Other places are as well, and this is the album I wanted. Linkin Park does have another Funko uh, album cover, but I didn't want that one. I wanted this one, Hybrid Theory. It was priced at $70. Whenever we first walked in, we seen it. I said I can't pay $70 for that. I just didn't feel comfortable. So we walked around, and at the end, we went back. Seeing they still had it, so we decided to offer him $50. He said $55, and we're like, yeah, we'll take it. $55 for a $70 Funko is amazing because that is around what it's worth. But again, I just did not know 100% if I wanted to pay that. But whenever he said 55 and I decided to take it for that. So. so that is everything that we picked up from today at Geeked Out. And it was day two. So we are going to be going to the one in the fall as well. I'm not sure which day we're going to be going. The first time we went to Geeked Out... We went on day one, and again, we spent the $400, but we added a lot of unique and rare Funkos to our collection. This time, we spent the same amounts, but we got better deals, and it was day two. So I'm not sure if we want to go day one or day two next time, but either way, we are going to be going in the fall. The problem we have now is finding room for everything here. I think I'm going to be able to find room for the Ghostbuster stuff here. Her Stitch Funkos, I think we're going to be able to find room. Some of the other we're going to have to make room for, but still, this is great additions to our collections. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We absolutely love going out and collecting and getting all of this stuff. And now that there is local conventions in our area, and this one is semi-annual, and it has great stuff, there's always friendly vendors. You can pay with cash or e-transfer. This time I went with cash just so I know I didn't have any... Unexpected charges on my credit card like we did last time, but we decided to go with cash, but all the vendors are friendly. There's always over a hundred vendors. This time there was about four or five vendors for comic books alone. Last time there was only one. Uh, there was a lot more vendors for retro toys and comics and a whole bunch of unique stuff. So definitely worth checking out these conventions in your area. And if you're near Ottawa, it's definitely worth checking out Geeked Out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.